The Saturn V rocket that lifted the Apollo 11 spacecraft out of Earth's orbit had been reduced to its final stage, the S-4B. The Command and Service Module, or CSM, separated from the S-4B, turned through 180 degrees and docked with the Lunar Module, or LEM. The now combined CSM and LEM pulled away from the S-4B rocket, proceeding on its roughly 250,000 mile journey to the Moon during the translunar coast phase. Almost three days later, the spacecraft entered lunar orbit. The crew spent the next 25 hours performing various systems, checks and tests while in orbit around the Moon. In preparation for landing, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin transferred to the LEM while Michael Collins remained in the CSM. The CSM undocked and separated from the LEM. Now functioning as two separate vehicles, the CSM was redesignated Columbia and the LEM Eagle. Eagle's descent orbit initiation began, followed by the powered descent initiation. After 102 hours and 45 minutes of travelling through space, Eagle became the first manned spacecraft to land on the Moon. Once safely on the lunar surface, Armstrong and Aldrin performed a checkout of all systems and prepared for their historic moonwalk. 109 hours and 42 minutes after launch, Neil Armstrong became the first human to set foot on the lunar surface and delivered his famous words, Aldrin joined Armstrong on the lunar surface shortly after, and the pair collected lunar surface samples and conducted experiments. They stayed on the moon for just under one day. Eagle ascended from the lunar surface to rendezvous and dock with Columbia, which had been orbiting the moon during the lunar landing. Columbia docked with Eagle, and Armstrong and Aldrin reunited with Collins in the CSM. The LEM ascent stage was jettisoned, and the CSM entered the trans-Earth injection phase to make the voyage back to Earth. The service section of the CSM was ejected before entering Earth's atmosphere. Finally, 195 hours, 18 minutes and 35 seconds after departing the Earth, the command module splashed down in the Pacific Ocean on the 24th of July after travelling a total distance of over 800,000 nautical miles. <laughs>